Hi, I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. In this session, let us look into an important git config which is regarding our username and password that gets saved when we do a git push or git clone from a private repository. And you need to have your credentials in your Windows Credentials Manager. So in most cases, git will store the username and password in a plain text file in your home folder, which is usually the path C colon slash users and then slash your username. And then there is a file called dot git dash credentials. So if you see this folder slash dot git credentials, so this is my home path. Since this is a bash prom, you can go to your home folder using this uh, tilde and if you if you go there you will find a file called dot git dash credentials which will have all the username and passwords that you use to connect to github.com so we don't want to put our username and passwords into this file so in that case you, what you need to do is you need to configure your git config and in, and this is best done in the global config if you go to your home folder and then the git config here you will see an option called credential and then there is a helper option here which you need to set it to manager and there are three options for that the one is the cache which will actually cache your username and password for some time you can of course make a timeout period like for example five minutes or something if you are okay with that and then there is another option called store which will actually save our username and passwords in plain text in that file dot git dash credentials which is not correct in some cases if you are going to work in in another system or somebody else's if you are working in a shared shared windows system and all somebody else has access to that but it is okay if you are working in your local system and all the time you have your system with you then it is okay otherwise your username and password might not be safe anybody who has access to your system can find that file dot git slash credentials and they can get your username and password so the best option to set here is manager which will actually not save your username and password into that file you can of course set it from the command line with this command which is like git config dash dash global and which is setting the global and then credentials dot helper and if you set it to cache if you want to set it to cache you can set it and if you want to set it to store or if you want to set it to manager and you can set it like that so that's a simple but important point to consider while working with git we don't want our username and passwords to be saved in plain text in the dot git dash credentials file so that's all in this session thank you so much